Gurgle just acquired the most powerful computer on the planet. This much capacity in anyone's hands, especially these people, is a recipe for certain planetary disaster. Hello, this is Dave from net for truth USA, Inglorious Patriots. It is November 5th, 2019, and at the moment it is 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. I've been on the phone all morning after working on two videos that I posted already today. And I just want to get into this one because this is a long time coming and this needs to be exposed. Only one of the two people on this venue have even talked about it. So I figured I'd lend my expertise of being a cryptographic system specialist in the, in the U.S. Air Force and 25 years with IBM Microsoft certified the whole nine yards. Uh, check processing and banking specialist for a long time. I've seen my share of computers in my day. From the old core crap to the new stuff that will blow your mind. Their tube has enough capacity to handle 400 hours of video a minute being uploaded to their server. And if you think that they're paying for that with click ads, I got a tall flash for you. Click ads wouldn't even pay the air conditioning to keep those computers cool. They just acquired the most powerful computer in the world, a D-Wave computer, a quantum computer, that works completely different from anything that you or I are familiar with. Basically, this computer can do 200 years worth of calculations in a mere 200 seconds. And I'm not talking about some laptop that it's compared to. I'm talking about the Cray supercomputers of modern day. Two thousand, two hundred years worth of calculations in 200 seconds. What does that mean? So it's a faster computer. You get the, you practically get the answer before you ask the question. But that's not why I say it's dangerous. And I say it's dangerous for the main reason that encryptions are now a thing of the past. All of the banking, brokering, secure transactions with credit cards that you do over the internet can be compromised in nanoseconds with this computer. The popular belief is that once something is password protected, that if it's a good enough password and it isn't password, like uh, John Podesta had on his laptop, that the encryption would last forever. And for the most part, that's true because the encryption algorithms are based on very complex mathematical cal calculations of prime numbers that I won't go into here because I don't know myself. But the encryption is only viable because in order to break a password, that's a, that's a halfway decent password, say a eight digit password, is child's play because you keep banging at it until you get it. But to break the encryption on SSL technology and on technology that goes back and forth between credit card companies and banks, that's a horse of a different color. The only reason that's viable today is because no computer on the planet up until this point could break that encryption in the amount of time where the encryption being broken would be valuable to somebody. I'll give you an example. Let's say the military sends orders for troops to move into a certain area and 
take some Habib out somewhere. Okay? So Haji's over there hiding in his bunker, and the Pentagon sends an order to the troops in the field to go get this guy. This is where he is. If the enemy could intercept that transmission, they would just get gobbledygook. They couldn't make any sense out of it unless they had the encryption key and the password. The D-Wave computer just bangs at this until the, the, until it's decrypted, until the, the password and the encryption is broken in mere seconds. So if you have this computer, you can break into anybody's bank account. You can break into anybody's website. You can steal all their money and be gone like a fart in the wind before anybody even knew what happened. Not only that, you can collect data on people and go through literally mountains of data that has been con collected ever since the uh, DARPA project known as LifeLog changed into Facebook. And people voluntarily give up their information because vanity and pride goeth before the fall. So they put all their information on Facebook and on Twitter and on YouTube and everybody else, myself included. And the data gets data mined. It's what they're trying to do in China. This social uh, ranking system that if you're a good communist and you're for Ping Zhong Um or whatever his name is, you can ride the subway. If not, then you have to walk. This is what they're trying to do here. And don't let these people bullshit you and their sanctimonious standing up before Congress lying through their teeth. Oh, we yeah, we're trying to be a platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horseshit. Horseshit. You and I to them are cattle. No more, no less than a cow running around her field to be milked. And this is the way that they're going to attempt to do this. And in the hands of these people, this is dangerous in the extreme because they can break any encryption on the planet. That's the main reason. And the other reason that I have which is kind of nebulous, but I believe it to be true. The quantum computers work by, and this is their own words, sharing resources with parallel universes. You got that? Parallel universes. Parallel universes have almost completely, conclusively been proven by people who know about more about physics than I ever will, mathematically. And being that this computer works based on that principle, gives me cause to believe that there is a such a thing as a parallel universe, and there are endless numbers of me going out there and trying to blow up the spot on the deep state and there's even a couple of hundred thousand versions of me that are on the other side trolling Trump supporters, if you can believe that. So any possibility is possible if you have an infinite number of parallel universes. And this machine shares resources with as many universes as it has bits or qubits, as they call them. And that technology is way beyond what I was involved in when I worked for IBM for 25 years, but I get the drift. I get the drift. Some people even say that the use of this D-Wave computer is the cause for the Mandela effect. That has yet to be proven, and I don't see how you could prove it. But a machine of this magnitude is dangerous in a human being's hand.
it's dangerous because power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And if you can't have absolute power, the best thing next to that is to have the power to do exactly what you want and to destroy anybody you want. Take that with a grain of salt, do your research, you'll see what I'm talking about. D-Wave Computers in the hands of a social media corporate giant is a recipe for planetary disaster. This is Dave from Net4 Truth USA, Inglorious Patriots. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing this video. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your calls of encouragement. And most of all, thank you for your support. Please subscribe to our backup channels. Net for Truth USA 2 Patriot Channel, bitshoot.com forward slash net number four truth USA, and drop dot space forward slash at net for truth USA. We fly so close to the target, we are on our fifth fighter jet. We will be relentless and persistent until the enemies of freedom are defeated. You can support this channel by using the links in the description, but for a $100 donation, I will personally send you a autographed, hardcover, special edition copy of Land of Childhood's Fears. Also, visit my bookstore at lulu.com forward slash net truth usa If you are viewing this video on BitChute, you can use the links in the description to support us, or simply click the green dollar sign dot on our video to support this channel. Thank you. Links are in the description section.